Hello and welcome back to my lasso guide for Halo 1 on the Master Chief Collection. Today is a short and easy mission that shouldn't take too long to finish. Once you land out of the Pelican, you'll want to ignore the battle in front of you and immediately go to the left and around the side of the map. This way you can skip the fight and continue on to where you're supposed to go. It will take a while of running to get to the spot you need to be, so I skip ahead here. When you get to this area, there will be three jackals which you can take out real quick and then pick up the overshield that will be laying near a few boxes. There's a few enemies up top, but we don't have to worry about them right now. We will be going to that area once we use a control panel to open a door that is there. Continue following the beach around the edge until you get to this area with a flipped warthog with some health and ammo near it. There will be a group of enemies to your right, so you can toss a grenade in there and take out a good portion of them before they see you. I didn't have my overshields here because I fought the other group where the locked door is, so then I had to come here to use the switch to open it. Make sure to go this way first before going to the locked door so as to not waste any time. There will be one elite and a few grunts to take out before moving on. Once you've defeated those enemies, make sure to run back and stock up on some more health or ammo if you need it. Then run through this crevice where there are some grunts and two elite. Use your pistol to take out the grunts and melee any that you can to get your shields back. Use another grenade or two if you have to because there are some more later on. Make sure to use the terrain and the area to your advantage in order to move up on the elites and melee them down. Next up is an area with two overshields accompanied by two hunters along with them. If you can use one overshield to take them both out then that is helpful but not required. I ended up using both of them here because I sucked the huge wang at this but that's okay. As you saw earlier there was some health and ammo up top that you can run back and pick up if you have to at any point. Just run circles around them both and melee until they're down. You can take a few shots here and there because of the overshields so you don't have to be too cautious. This area of the game is very lenient with a lot of overshields so you can go crazy on this mission even when it's on lasso difficulty. Here you will have a few more enemies and an elite to take out. Nothing too difficult here, just use your pistol and headshot the little guys and then move up cover to cover to melee the elite. Remember to go back to that spot again after killing them so you can stock up on some more health and ammo before moving on. Next up, there are some grunts around the corner and then there are three overshields next to a crate. Make sure to pick one up and then move on. I'm not sure why they provided three here, but no reason to complain since any help you can get on lasso is appreciated. You will then go down a flight of stairs and end up in this room with two more hunters to take out. It is a small area so you have to be careful of them both hitting you at once. Try to split them up a bit and then melee one down before dealing with the other. If you get too low, remember that you have two more overshields up top so you can run back there and pick another one up before continuing on. Also, if you run back, you will get a checkpoint near the stairs, so that's something to keep in mind. After killing both hunters, you will continue through a hallway into this room where the switches for the door I mentioned earlier. Once you hit it, a cutscene will trigger showing an elite with a sword enter. You won't have to worry about him when you get there as he will be gone, but when you are coming back out through that door, he will surprise you, so watch out for that. Now you need to leave back out where we came in, but you will be confronted by a bunch of invis elites. I found that elites with invis usually have lower shields and they die pretty quickly when you shoot them. Here I just man moded it and had a long melee fight with all of them at once. I wouldn't necessarily suggest this, but it worked for me. Also, teabag for the win. When you exit back outside, you can pick up another overshield as long as you didn't use all three for those two short battles, which I hope you didn't. Then you can drop down to the beach and go right until you reach the area where I mentioned the door was at before. There will be a warthog along the way next to the dead marine with ammo so you can stock up and get a quick ride over. Now if you've cleared out this area first and got to the door you realize is locked, there will be two hunters here instead. So make sure that you've gone and activated the switch first so you just deal with these two hunters here. Next you'll enter through to where the locked door was. If you didn't clear out this area before, then there may or may not be a few enemies here to take care of. In the next room there will be an elite questioning his entire existence by staring right into a fucking box. Take him out and then move on. You can either rush this next room or take out some of the enemies up top first if you take the stairs. Either way works, just take out all the enemies here before moving on. When you open this door, there will be three jackals waiting for you. They're right next to the door so you can run in there and melee them all down really easily. Follow the stairway down and then take a right and pick up any health and ammo you need. Then continue straight and kill the two jackals in this hallway. There are two more jackals in the hallway opposite of you, but they will run out to the middle where the two hunters are, so watch out for them. Take out the other two and then work on the hunters. So when I went at both hunters, one of them attacked me while the other just watched his buddy get his ass kicked. Then as I was still hitting him, his friend just committed suicide so I don't know what's up with the hunters in this game and doing that, but he just jumped off the ledge on his own. This will most likely not be the case for you, so just keep running circles and hitting them while watching out for their attacks. Now you will descend the stairs where you killed the hunters and go through a large room with no enemies in it. You will come to a wall with two doors on both sides. First go through the left door where there is invisibility on the ground. Pick that up and then drop down and run through the room with a lot of grunts without attacking them. 
There will be one elite on the way you can kill and then continue on. Don't attack any grunts like I did here. Keep running towards the end where there are two more elites near the control panel we need to activate. We don't want to waste our invis time here so use it well to get behind the elites and assassinate them. Now just hit the switch and a cutscene will trigger. If you go out the front there will be a decent amount of grunts and an overshield you'll need before moving on. Now we have to fight our way back up to the surface. Go up the stairs and then follow the hallway back to that empty room from before. There will be a few jackals here and the room will be filled with enemies. You can ignore them if you want but make sure to stick to the left side and go up these stairs. There are a bunch of grunts and one elite around the corner at the top so you can toss a grenade in there and take a few shots if you have to because you have that overshield. Afterwards get in the thick of things and melee the rest of the enemies down and then go up to the next set of stairs until you are faced with four jackals around the corner. These are the stairs where you killed the two hunters at the top of before. You can melee the first two in front of you, but the other two are up further so you have to use your pistol to take them out before going up. At the top there are a few jackals and grunts and then one elite at the back. Don't forget that after you kill these enemies there may still be some leftover ammo from before at the spot where we got some supplies. So make sure to go get some before going up the next set of stairs. Up here you can hug the right side wall where there is a red elite. He will most likely see you but you can just melee when you get close. After killing him, run straight into the hallway where the sword elite will be waiting for you around the corner. All I did here was run out to this dead end area here, and he's far too scared to cross a certain line for some reason. If this doesn't work for you, then you can clear the room prior to this and lead him up the staircases in that room while shooting him and then jump down and repeat the process. Now you can go through the previously locked door and continue up the stairs until you get into a room with a lot of invisible elites. Run up to the middle where it will aggro the elites in their room and then immediately turn around as one will spawn behind you at the bottom of the stairs. Kill him and then go back up and use this corner to your advantage to pop out and shoot any that you can. Rinse and repeat until you've killed all the enemies in this small area. After that you're done with the fourth mission on lasso difficulty for Halo CEA on the Master Chief Collection. Don't forget to leave a comment if you know of some easier ways around this mission so as to make life easier for others. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll be back next time to guide you through the 5th mission in the lasso playlist.